All right, I'm standing here with Kayla Rivers, the uh, coxswain on the second Varsity 8 boat. Uh, Kayla, first, uh, your thoughts on your race? I think it went really well. We handled the conditions as well as we could. It was really, really windy out there. Um, but we handled them well, and our moves were good. And I think um, we really took advantage of the end of the race and really finished it up strong. And uh, talk more about the conditions. H how do you prepare a team uh, for conditions like that where it's very windy and obviously the water is very choppy? Yeah, it was kind of brutal out there today. We had a, a tailwind, so it's making the races faster because it's pushing us down the course, but um, it's really hard to stay in control and keep pressure on the blade because the water is moving so fast. So we're pretty lucky because this is our home course and we have conditions like this all the time. Um, whether it's a headwind, crosshead, crosstail, tailwind, anything. Um, it's usually very windy, so we just are as sharp as we can in practice and really focus on rowing the best we can in all conditions so that we're ready for anything, any conditions that happen on race day. Uh, you mentioned that because of the water you were going a little faster. Do you have to change your game plan as the coxswain because of that? Um, there are some specific calls that we make for um, for tailwind races versus headwind races, it's really important in a tailwind that you get your blades squared because then the wind will help you out more. Um, and you have to get the blades out of the water sooner and cleanly because then you have to um, you have to just let the boat come off so that it floats with the water and doesn't get caught. Right. <laughs> and then, um, do you think it helps the team compete against boats like uh, Northeastern Louisville to kind of see where you are right now? Yeah, it does a lot. Um, it also helps to race against crews like Yale and Dartmouth like we did last weekend because they're really fast and we're going to be seeing those same crews in Northeastern too. They're fast this season. We're going to be seeing them at sprints when we get there. So it's really good to race fast crews during the season because then we're not caught off guard when it really matters at sprints. And then does it help or hurt having to race again on Sunday? Um, it, it definitely doesn't hurt. It's it's tough because you have to prepare pre prepare differently for it because you're having two races in two days and usually you get a day off after. But it helps because we're able to take what we weren't so happy with today and transfer it till tomorrow and really make good changes and it's a quick turnaround um, race day to race day so we'll be able to refine our technique and work on the things that are immediately necessary to be worked on um, from today's race. Right, and then uh, what do you? How do you feel about the development of your boat this year? Do you think they're making uh, good progress? Yeah, we're making huge strides. Um, we started out pretty strong. We've only been getting faster. Um, lineups have been changing. We've been refining our technique. Um, just this week alone, I think we got 10 seconds faster. Just working on things that we can be sharper on, things that we know how to do, but just like working on them and making sure that we have everything together. Right. So yeah, we've come a long way, I think. All right, thanks. Thank you.